Alrighty guys, let's head on over to manafin.github. The link to this website will be in the description below. Now we're here to get this emulator to emulate Sega Saturn, but just to let you guys know, this emulator does emulate other consoles as well, such as Apple II, Atari Linux, Neo Geo Pocket, Wonderswan, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, Virtual Boy, PC Engine, Super Graphics, PC FX, Sega Game Gear, Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, Sega Master System, and Sony PlayStation. To get to your download, just scroll down, and right under News, you'll see Manafin 1.24.3. They offer a Win64 zip download for newer systems and a 32 zip for older systems. I'm on a new system, so I'm gonna download Win64 zip. Just click on it, save, open folder. We can exit out of this screen, and let's just drag the zip file to the desktop. Exit out. Now we need to extract the file. I use 7-zip to extract my files. You guys can use whatever you prefer. If you want 7-zip, it will be in the description below. But before we extract it, we're going to create a new folder. So let's right click, new folder, and we're going to call this folder Sega. And let's move the zip file into the folder. Now let's open the folder, and now we can extract the file. This way all of our extracted files will be in this folder and not our desktop. So let's right click, go to 7-zip, extract here. And there we are, we have all of our extracted files. Now let's head back to our browser and this time we're going to timekills.org. The link to this website will be in the description as well. Now, to run Saturn on Manafin, you actually need two BIOS, Sega101.bin and MPR17933.bin. The good thing about this site, they offer both BIOSes in one download. And your download is gonna be right here in parentheses, they are here in a zip file. So let's click on that. And then you're gonna get your download button right here. Hit download. Let's save it. Open folder. We can exit out. And we're just gonna drag that BIOS to the desktop. Exit out, exit out. Now, we need to extract the BIOS as well. So let's right click, go to 7-zip, extract here. There we are, we have both BIOS, so we can delete this file, and we're good to go. Now let's open the Sega folder. Now we're gonna click on the emulator, but it is not gonna open. It's gonna give us an error message, and that's okay. By clicking on it, what it's gonna do is it's gonna create some extra files and some extra folders, and the folder we're looking for is the firmware folder. So let's click on the emulator. There's our error message, click OK. And if you notice, we got some extra files and some extra folders. And there's the folder we're looking for, firmware. Let's open it. And let's drag our two BIOS files into this folder. Back, and we're good to go. Now, if we try to open the emulator, it's still gonna give us this error message. So how do we load our games? Well, first, we need to locate our games. I have another folder open over here. Let me drag it in. This is my external hard drive where I have a few games. I'm gonna load Sonic 3D Blast. Now if you use 7-zip like I do to extract your game files, you're gonna get a bunch of bin files and one disk image file. So what you wanna do is grab that disk image file and just drag it directly on top of the emulator and let it go. And the game should load up. Now, to set up your controls, what you wanna do is push Alt, Shift, and one. And you're gonna get a pop-up saying Digital Gamepad one. And it wants you to emulate your first button, which is up. Now I'm gonna be using an Xbox One controller. I don't have a PS4 controller, so I can't test it, but a wired controller does work as well. Now, you're gonna need to press each button twice. So right now I'm gonna push up on my Xbox One controller twice. Now it wants to know down, and so on. Now if you don't recall what a Sega Saturn controller looks like, here's a picture. All right, press start. Start. 
All right, guys, while this is loading up, I'm gonna show you how to get to your default key assignments. Simple, all you need to do is press F1. And there you go, your default key assignments. To get out of this, just press F1 again. Green Grove, Act 1. All right, let me hold my control up so you guys can see that the buttons are working. Jump. I got some movement. Everything's good to go. And we're playing Sonic 3D Blast. Yeah! <laughs> Not that I'm excited about it. All right, everything's working, guys. There you go. You're good to go. One other thing I want to show you is how to get into full screen mode. All you want to do is press Alt and Enter. And there you go, full screen mode. 